So guys, we're going to learn that how to write a given expression like we have in this first question, 15 sine theta minus eight cos theta in this form r sine theta minus alpha. It can be r sine theta plus alpha. It can even be like, if you look at this uh, in terms of cos, r cos theta plus alpha or r cos theta minus alpha. Uh, before we go into this, we need to know that why do we need to learn um, to express the given, like, you know, this is kind of a kind of a binomial where one term is in sine, the other is in cos, okay? And uh, um, to, to write that in this form over here, okay? So the reason is that if you go back to your P1 um, trigonometric equations, like, uh, look at this um, equation here. Uh, if I ask you to look at this B part, okay? In this B part, we have the equation which is 15 sine theta minus 8 cos theta that is equal to 10. Now, if this was a P1 kind of a question, the same equation could have been like, 15 sine theta minus 8 cos theta, that is equal to zero, okay? And you could easily solve this equation by dividing the whole equation by cos theta, okay? So this is your over cos theta, this is over cos theta, over cos theta. Uh, so this becomes, uh, 15 tan theta minus one equal to zero. So we can solve it because now there is only tan theta left in this equation. But this tactic cannot be applied in, in these cases over here. For example, if, if, I, if I divide it by cos theta, so this is maybe cos theta, this is your cos theta, you see? This becomes 15 tan theta, okay? This is minus eight, but, oh, look at this. You have 10 secant theta over here. So in there is no way that we can solve this equation. So we have to uh, find a new way of writing this whole equation in terms of sine, cos, or tan only, okay? So that is done through this method where we write this given binomial in terms of sine and cos into this R sine blah, blah, or R cos or whatever, okay? So let's see, let's see how to write this in this required form, okay? So for that purpose, I'm going to erase all of this, okay? So uh, now we have here, um, I'm going to explain you that how to write this into the R sine theta minus alpha form, okay? Now, whatever I'm going to tell you now, you will not be applying that. You will be applying the method that, that I'll tell you at the very end, okay? I'm just going to give you the concept that how we can actually write this in the form, okay? So you just look at this concept. We, we have 15... Let me change the color. We have 15 sine theta minus eight cos theta. And we want to write it in the form R sine theta minus alpha, okay? Now this, um, if I expand this R sine theta minus alpha, applying the compound angle formula, this would become 15, sine theta minus eight cos theta, that is equal to R into, this is gonna be R into sine theta cos alpha, and then minus sine alpha cos theta, okay? I'm gonna open this and I will be writing it like this 15 sine theta, minus eight cos theta, that is going to be equal to R. I'll just 
uh, twist them a bit. Like I'll be writing this R cos alpha sine theta. And then I have minus R sine alpha cos theta. Okay. So now you will see that I'll be comparing the coefficients over here. I have here this sine theta, okay? And I also have sine theta over here. Can I say that 15 is equal to R cos alpha? Yes. And similarly, I have cos theta over here. This is cos theta. And there is this cos theta over here. So comparing the coefficients of cos theta and looking at this minuses as well, okay? This is minus, this minus is matching with the minus. So we have R sine alpha, that is equal to eight. It's gonna be R sine alpha, that is going to be equal to eight. Now, these are the two equations that we have, equation number one and equation number two. Now, what we are going to do now is we are going to square them side by side and we shall add them. Look at this, what shall we get? We'll be getting R square sine square alpha plus R square cos square alpha. That is equal to eight square plus 15 square. I take this R square as common. So I have R sine square alpha plus cos square alpha. That is equal to uh, this is going to be 17 square over here, okay? You, you can use your calculators. So we know that sine square alpha plus cos square alpha is one. So R square is going to be 17 square. So this R can be plus minus 17. And we're given that this R is positive. So this R is going to be 17, okay? Next, I'll be dividing both of these equations side by side because I want to get rid of this R. So I'll be writing it as R sine alpha over R cos alpha. That is equal to eight over 15. You must have your calculator ready, okay? Keep your calculator ready. I have to ask you 10 inverse of this, okay? So this R is canceled with the R and you are left with 10 alpha over here. That is going to be eight over 15. So your alpha is going to be 10 inverse of this eight by 15. What is this 10 inverse of eight over 15? Hmm? Uh, sir, 28.1. Point. 28.1. Look at this. It always says write this correct to two decimal places. So this is 28.02, 07. 28.07 degrees. So that is how this 15 sine theta minus 8, 8 cos theta can, we can write this as, I'm just going to write it here. This is, this can be written as 17 and there is sine alpha minus 28 point. That is the required form. Okay. We have written our given um, this 15 sine theta minus eight cos theta into this form through all this working. Another good news is that you will not be required to show all this working. You just have to remember one thing over here that uh, whenever you have to write it in the form like this, uh, this coefficient of sine theta, I'll tell you ab about all these four cases, okay? Right now you look at this, this 15 over here would be called your A, that is your 15, okay? And this eight, not minus, just this, ignore this minus. This eight will be your B, okay? And the formula for the R is, please note it down, that will always be the square root of a square plus B square. And your alpha will always be tan inverse of D over A. I have done all this working because uh, I wanted you to be convinced that why do we have this R? Look at this, 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 you have done that A square plus 15 square, and then you have taken the square root at the end, Hannah. 
So that is how you get your R as 17. So you will be using this rule over here uh, that uh, that is how you will be finding your R and you will be finding your alpha. Okay. Now suppose uh, if I go on to the next question over here, which is this question here. Okay. And so you will see that how I'll be solving this question. Okay. Um, let me make some space here. Okay, like this. Now, we have to write this. Um, we have to write this um, 2 cos theta minus 3 sine theta. Look at this. This 2 cos theta minus 3 sine theta into the form R cos theta plus alpha. But now you see, we have to write this in terms of cos. The first term should be in terms of cos. If you have to write this in terms of cos. If I take you back to the this question here, we had to write this in terms of sine here. You see the first term, Valid, it was in terms of sine. Okay. The next thing, if you have learned the double angle formula, the compound angle formula as well, look at this. If you have sine alpha plus beta, okay? So this is going to be, it starts from, from sine, sine alpha cos beta. And if there is a plus, there is a plus over here. This is going to be sine beta and cos alpha. And if you look at your other, the second formula, which is going to be cos, cos alpha plus beta. So this starts from the cos, okay? This is cos alpha cos beta and minus sine alpha sine beta. So when there is a plus between them, there is a minus over here. And it is the same for the sign. If it is plus here, this plus. If there is a minus over here, there will be minus over here. And if you have a minus here, so it would have a plus over here, okay? So you, you can see that, okay, if there is a plus over here, then there should be a minus over here. So if everything is matching, you can simply say that, okay, my A is two, my B is three. Don't write this as minus three, okay? Your A is two, your B is three, and then your R is going to be the square root of A square plus B square. That is A square plus B square. So this R is going to be under root four plus nine. That will be under root 13. And then your alpha would be, tan inverse of, this is always tan inverse of B over A. So this would be written as tan inverse of that three over two. And you can write this, you look at this, he's, he's always asking to write you correct to, uh, to write this correct to two decimal places. So what is tan inverse of three over two? Hmm? Yes? 56.31. 56.31. So this um, given question over here, which was uh, 2 cos theta minus uh, where it was, uh, this is here. Yeah, this is your question here. So 2 cos theta minus 3 sine theta can be now written as under root 13. And then you have cos uh, theta plus 56.31. Now, now you must understand that why did we have to write all this? You see that when you will have to solve this equation, look at this equation, when you have to solve all this equation, which has a cos, which has a sign in it. So how would you be solving this equation? You would simply say, okay, my, when I have to solve this equation, I would say, okay, instead of this two cos theta minus three sine theta, I will simply be writing under root 13 cos theta plus 56.31. That is equal to 1.3. Now there will be no problem for me to solve such an equation because this only has got cos in it. Okay. So I'll leave this up to you how to solve this equation. My today's topic is how to write this require, I mean, given thing into this uh, R sine or whatever. Look at this, you have to write this in R sine theta minus alpha form and it is starting from sine. 
So what is your A over here in this third question? Hmm? So yes. 15. Yeah, your A is 15, your B is uh, eight, okay? So you will eight. quickly find this R that is gonna be 15 squared plus eight squared. So that you will get that as 17. And then you will find your alpha that is gonna be 10 inverse of B over A. So that is gonna be eight over 15, okay? So that is how you will be writing all of them into the required form, okay? So now you start this, uh, you get onto this exercise, okay? You can start from the first question. This is your exercise uh, 3E, okay? And you can try all these questions. I may discuss the, uh, the equations, how to, if you start with these equations, okay? I'll be telling you this tomorrow, but right now you must do at least the A parts of all these equations, all these questions, okay? Try the A parts only right now. 